So Sandy Lane says every distro I try to boot from a USB drive has a grub problem. We're not talking about the bugs, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you call that stuff that you sprinkle on the grass? What is that? Uh, isn't I, it like limestone or something that kills the No, grass? it's like some kind of living organism. Oh, I can't yeah. remember. Yeah, yeah, you're all yeah, thinking yeah, about yeah. it. <laughs> Comment below. Everybody knows. Yeah. I don't. That's right. Nematodes or something. Yeah, ne nematodes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> anyway, so the USB drive has a grub problem. It just goes to the grub prompt. Okay. What am I doing wrong? Hmm, okay, a couple of things could be going on there. Now, your drive itself could be faulty, and so it's failing when it's creating the, the mm -hmm. Grub bootloader. Um, when you put uh, a distro onto a USB flash drive to boot from, you have to, um, you have to um, during that process, you have to image it. And I've run into this where folks have taken that image file, downloaded it, and put it on the disk. Right just as a file or work that way. like decompressed it and dragged all the files over right. and that may be what you're encountering it could also be the tool that you're using to image it i would recommend that you check out etcher e-t-c-h-e-r and that application will allow you to first browse to the image file you need to unzip that image file that's important so if it comes as a zip file decompress it so that it's just an img then, uh, once you've browsed to that IMG file, you need to um, s specify the target device. Easiest way to do that is to have all of your USB devices unplugged so that Etcher sees that there are no USB devices currently available. Right. Then, uh, when it asks you, when it's waiting for you to select a device, plug in your USB flash drive and it will be the only one that pops up. That way you don't have to risk overwriting the wrong device. Right. Yep. And also, it will make sure, because if you've got two devices plugged in, I guess there's a possibility with some applications that it might write to one disk and then put the grub bootloader on another. It could happen. Not with Etcher. Etcher's pretty good. but um, So make sure that you do that and then go with uh, uh, click on Flash and it will go through and it will even verify that everything worked out. And if it's still not working, then I would look at the file that you downloaded, the image itself. They will always have what's called an MD5 or a checksum or a SHA file that you can compare to the MD5 sum of the file itself that you've downloaded. So if it, for some reason, got corrupted during transit, it may, you, you can flash it over and over and over again and it's always going to fail. Mm -hmm. Right. There's always going to be something wrong with it because the file is corrupted. Right. But your imaging application won't know that. It will just say, yeah, it worked. The image file is exactly what was written to the disk, but it doesn't know that the image file is actually corrupt. Right. So try re-downloading, check the MD5 hash, and make sure that you've got a good download before you burn it again. And on the off chance, we are actually talking about the little white larva. Get a new USB. <laughs> that might be a good idea. <laughs> yeah, you may want to get a... It Maybe the USB drive is faulty. Absolutely. Yeah. It, can, it can happen, and they, they have a finite lifespan. So uh, that's, that's how it goes.